next, the Cavaliers taking... Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to get started with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Jason Tatum. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play smart Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mitchell and Strews, they're the guards. Wade out there with Jared Allen. And it's a Coro into the three spot. And for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Chris Depp's Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in a point guard. One thing to expect tonight, Richard, a battle on the glass. These are two of the best rebounding teams in the NBA. It's an aspect of the game we don't talk about enough. If you can control the glass normally, you control the flow. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Takes a step back. Has to wait. Here's Allen. Headed by Brzezinski. And slammed up by Allen. Allen. And this is why you feed the big fella Allen on the inside. With his size, he is a major threat anywhere around that room. Brown outside. Carries it from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Cleveland with the ball. It's a three-point game. Cleveland moving the ball around. Allen a screen on Hullet. Mitchell passes to Allen. Nice D from Porzingis. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here is Holiday. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging over 13 points a game. And sometimes on defense, yeah, you can just get lucky. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front. Mitchell wide open. Off target with his three. Austin's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Allen against Porzingis. Porzingis sets the pick for Holiday. Four on the clock. And he misses his first shot of the game. They say it's a make or miss league, and there's sometimes that you, you miss. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. Wade outside. Okoro kicks to Struess. The three. Offensive rebound. Allen shot is off. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Well, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. And he's rough. Here's Mitchell. Following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Now, Porzingis with the ball. And with that 7-6 stand, Porzingis has all a big time shot block. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played, Jonathan and the Mitchell, shot goes in. The assist, Isaac Okoro. Here's White. Got a 24-point outing in their last game against Denver. Pass to Persingas. Holiday against Mitchell. The pass to Tatum. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Cavaliers. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. And that one's good, Mitchell. 
Perfect use of the pick and roll. Mitchell just taking what the defense gives him. Tatum wide open. He fires one. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain the triple on us, and I'm going to go to the open. And that is how you lead a team. True. Literally. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum is running where to go with it. And he lays it straight in. Tatum's got seven points in the game. Cavaliers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Allen finds Mitchell. And a great assist by Mitchell. Allen as Three that points. one goes in. And you got to be right up on Mitchell or else he will punish you right off the catch. So the Celtics so call timeout. They're first. It was a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. And they got the better of this matchup last time with their defensive pressure and the ability to force turnovers. This defensive game plan is easy. Keeping it the same, making the change. Let's give them another round of applause. in for Max Drews and Porter subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Here's Pritchard guarded by Porter. Pritchard passes the Brown. It's Wade with the rebound. Cleveland's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. And like a massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past four. summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. And you gotta pay to play. Or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. The Cavaliers have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. The shot by Wade, wide open. Here's Allen. And he drops him away up off the glass. Allen. Allen's got six. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Porter. Overt against Brown. Six to shoot. Will it go? Puts the move on. And it's good on the way. Five points in the game. A very athletic play by Brown. Getting the ball inside and working his way to a high percentage shot. Here's Levert. Way to screen on Brown. It's stolen. Tonya Mitchell. He dashed eight points in the quarter as that terrific basketball instinct on this point. He'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and let's take a moment guys to get your take on the scoring so far for the Cavaliers the ball movement has been outstanding so far they've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass you also have to admire how they challenge the defense inside getting a lot of points in the paint Tatum in the front court alongside Horford and it's Benton in at the two that's the Boston five Celtics trail by five. Now here's Tatum. 
He's coming off a 22-point game against Denver. And I love what he's been able to do on the glass, securing some extra possessions for his team. Now, here's Tatum. Here's Pritchard. No good that time. Ice D from Porter. The Cavaliers leading by five. Here's Mitchell. Horford with the rebound. The Celtics shooting with confidence 50% from the field so far. Oh, Richard, the Celtics an excellent defensive team. Very disciplined. Yeah, you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals. They do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul. Passes it to Pritchard. Here's Benton. From outside, off the mark. And George Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, Assist by any means. Figure Harris it out, Lover. win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Here's Tatum, following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Horford in the post, working on Nian. A shot that time, not on target. Porter in the corner. Back to Levert. Pass to Nian. Cleveland moving the ball around. Mitchell dishes to Thompson. Here's Nian. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Sonics trail by seven. Richard passes to Horford. And out of bounds, the Cavaliers will take it. And a look now at the Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo. Then on Monday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. And, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. Zinkis, he's checked in for the Celtics. Holiday comes in for Delano Banton. Here's Strauss, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on for Zingas. Jay, we know almost all players will talk and plead their case to the refs. How much wiggle room do you think players are allowed? Well, I think every player is different. Look, if you are a captain of the team, it doesn't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be an all-star. But every ref has a limit. That's the beautiful thing about this league. The referees are humans, too. You got to get to know them. You got to understand them and realize who you can talk to about what. We feel good from Struess. So, Richard with the Cavs, there were bumps in the road after four straight trips to the finals a few years ago, clearly. Yeah, and that's to be expected after losing LeBron. They had to reset most of the roster, but they've done a nice job of building the team back with Darius Garland, Evan Mobley. It has been very, very impressive watching them work. And so he makes both from the line. Sonics trail by nine. There's Brown with the three. Hits the three-point five. Brown's got eight. Brown showing the quick release with the pull up there. Now here's Akoro. White covering. Mitchell outside. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Holiday against Mitchell. And here's Brown. Time, and the Celtics another three. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. The Cavaliers leading by three. Thompson outside. Back to Mitchell. Feeds it to Wayne. Pass to Struth. Now Mitchell for the three. Jalen Brown with the rebound. And now I will shoot it even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now, oh, here's Brown. He's got 11. Holiday surveying the floor. Shoot the Celtics get a shot off. Punches from deep. And the 
Alex Brown missing. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Holiday, the pass to White. To the paint. Here's Porzingis. And Porzingis had a lot of serious GA. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Porzingis, he had this game in value in D.C. With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. That free throw good from Porzingis. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Al Horford is checked in for Boston. Then for the Cavaliers, Allen comes in for Thompson, and Porter subbed in for Mitchell. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Outside, Porter. 21 left in the first half. Allen inside, guarded by Porfer. Now the pass to Okoro, trying to end the drought. Gordon, no luck. And so it's Howard and Mithin. They're bringing it up for the Celtics. Their next game is at the Rockets Arena in Houston for a game with the Rockets. It's game one of a three-game road trip. Top of the key for Zingas. Holiday. Three pointer. A three pointer is right on target. Holiday's got himself on the board with three there. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D. Showing he can hurt you from that area. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. And so it's Cleveland with it. They trail by one. Struz with it. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Kicks it to Okoro. Knocks down the three ball. Okoro's got his first three points of the game. Austin's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Now oh, here's Brown. Defense right on him. Puts up a deep three. That's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And that's it for the first half of action. It's been a very close game here. The Cavaliers lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Tristan, what's the plan for the second half tonight? Well, it's simple. It's going to be a dogfight. You know, they... All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and Eve. I think for the Cavaliers, they've underperformed thus far. But they're still tremendous. Now comes the hard part. They've got to tinker with the team. To... Now moving on to the Boston Celtics and the close first half they play. I'd like to see them work hard on the glass. Use that box out. Use it or lose it. Yeah, got a trip. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call.
got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. And, and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. Tipping off the second half, here's J.D. Bickerstaff is five. Mitchell and Strews, they're the guards. Personal Okoro foul. out there with First Wade, and it's Allen in at the five. Here's Wade, hasn't made one yet. Passes it to Strews. Shot clock at six. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Porzingis with the block. Brown with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum over Wade. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. Okay, okay, listen. Tatum can strike from anywhere. The mid-range is an open option for him at all times. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. But three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Now, a coral. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Mitchell against Howard. Spruce kicks to a Okoro. Allen dishes to a Okoro. And here's Spruce for three. Off to a bit of a slow start in the second half. 0 for 3 so far. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thank you. Donovan Mitchell has fit in great with the Cavaliers. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said he's unbelievable, always uplifting, positive, thinking about other people first. And to me, that's more important than all this put the ball in the basket stuff. Those are the types of people you want to surround yourself with. Kevin? Oh, David, that is outstanding. Thank you so much. Is it possible to rest too much? Because he hasn't been able to get into a groove since coming back in. The three from Tatum. Rebounded by Allen. Allen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Mitchell kicks to Allen. Allen a screen on Hubbard. The drive by Mitchell. Plays it up and banks it in. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 15 points. And they get one. Now one of five here in the third. Tatum against Wade. Shoots from eight. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. Back to Mitchell. Allen at the screen for Mitchell. The dish to Okoro. Wade passes to Okoro. For three, Mitchell. Again, Mitchell missing. Locking the heart down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensive no foul. doubt, Frank Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and first. this guy First's continues to improve. First. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line being shot. more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game, Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Allen in the post. He's against Persingas. Allen finds Drews. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. From downtown. And there's Porter on the assist by Wade. Porter's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for Boston. 
Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Pass to Brown. Wade against Horford. Back to Brown. Just find the shoot. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Brown's got 14 points for the game. We love the response by Brown. Marching right back down and dropping in his own three. Now, here's Akuro. He's covered by Brown. Porter with the screen for Akuro. Inside, out to Wade. Akuro dishes to Porter. Wade, and again, it's Cleveland. Wade. For Boston, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Holiday with it. Guarded now by Akuro. To Howard, lets it go with a three. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Six points for him. An elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. Allen, a screen on Howard. Allen surveying the D. A three from Struess. Another three for Cleveland. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. From outside the arc. And the Celtics another three. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Porter finds truth. He locks it up. Looking for Allen, he gets it there. And that one, good. Allen watching Allen go forward inside is a thing of beauty. He's so confident operating around the rim. Struess against Tatum. Horford with a screen on Struess. Outside Holiday. Doesn't fall with three quarters of play in a close game here. Celtics. Celtics out in front, leading by just two. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call a court dish. There wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a six sense. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. And it's Cornette in at the seven. That's the Boston Five. The deep play from Tatum. He's again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. And for all the small ball these days, RJ, the 7 2 Luke Cornette is still earning his key. Yeah, he has a very unique thing he does against jump shooters that kind of bothers me because I don't think it works. He'll just jump with both hands up so they can't see the rim. He calls it the eclipse. Boston making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. You know, after being led by LeBron all those years, and you too, of course, RJ, it's great to see huge expectations back in Cleveland with the Cavs. Well, I don't really appreciate that shot, Kev, but yeah, I think last year was just the start of something special. The talent on this roster has a major upside. They are so young. They could be a powerhouse in the East for at least another decade. Tatum against Mitchell. Fails to fall. This number six now shooting 50%. He's taken 12 shots to the middle. To finish it off, a beauty. Assisted by Porter. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. And there's the 
the pass to Pritchard. Passes it to Hauser. It's good from all range. Hauser's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Pass to Levert. Austin foul. Sam Hauser. First check in for the Celtics. First team switch here also for Cleveland. Wade is checked in for George Nehan. Porter kicks to Wade. Offline with his three. Shocking that he just clicked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Pritchard, guarded by Porter, to the inside. The kick out to Tatum. And again, Austin with the triple. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond the second three of the half right there. Wade outside for three. Hands it from downtown. Wade, the real. Three points. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. On the wing, Holiday. Under by Mitchell. Bangs home the trifecta. Tatum's got the lead back up to seven now for Boston. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from Montreal? Timeout called the Cavaliers. Zingas is checked in for Lou Cornett. Jalen Brown comes in for Al Horford. And Derek White subbed in for Pritchard. Then for the Cavaliers, Jared Allen's checked in for Thompson. Okoro comes in for Karis LeVert. And Struz is subbed in for Porter. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David. David. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.P. Zingas huddle. They were asking the team to play faster, push the ball, coach stroke their players. Hey, look, in this Jimmy league, fast break Cleveland. points are the easiest. We need Jared more of them. Allen Can't argue with that. Two shots. Thank you, David. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east. One of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paint. He is a rare breed. Pass to Tatum. There's the three. Offensive rebound. Holiday. And the layup's good off the glass. Holiday's got the lead up to eight now for the Celtics. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Uh, yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Allen, a screen on Holiday. For three, Mitchell. The Cavaliers again can hit. I'm gonna say he hasn't found the same success here in the second half compared to what we saw from him in the first. White, wide open, he fired. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Now, here's Akoro. Tight defense on him. It's good. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Holiday, the pass to Two minutes remaining in the game. Down low. The kick out to Tatum. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep on the green. Lead outside. Shoots the three. Rebound, Boston. Holiday's got rebound number five here tonight. And here comes Tatum. It's stolen by Struce. Takes it from ten. Here's Allen. And then Allen sends it in. Nothing soft about the put back there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. A 
out to Porzingis. Tatum against Wade. Find the shoot. Here's White. Again, the shot is good for two. That's a guy you want taking shots. Quality offensive player. at a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're trailing by eight. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. So try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick loop. Thank you. 